happy Thursday. Welcome back to Homeschool with Carly. Today, we are going to make our own homemade paper. So to make this paper, you are going to use recycled paper. Now, did you know that paper is originally from trees? What they do is they take the wood from the trees and they grind it up into a pulp and then they put it together to make paper. And they use a lot of presses to make it so it's nice and flat and thin. But you can also make paper from recycled paper. So let's get started and list our supplies that we will need. First, you will need some paper. So I have some leftover crafted paperwork that I'm going to use because I think all these colors will be fun. Don't cut up your artwork though. But you can look for paper lying around your house like an old newspaper, right? Some old mail, maybe some expired coupons, anything you can find because we're going to chop it up. Next, you will need a scissor to cut up all that paper, a bowl, some water, and a blender. So I'm going to use my small magic bullet, but you can use a regular size blender, that's fine too. So let's get started. Take that bowl and place it in front of you and grab some paper, okay? And we're going to want to shred this paper. If you have a shredder at home, you can just take this and stick it inside the shredder and then take out that shredded paper and you can use that. But I don't have a shredder at home, but I do have a pair of scissors. So let's begin shredding our paper. Okay, so as you can see, I have tons of shredded paper, okay? And I don't have too much. You can do as much as you want depending upon how much paper you want to make. So I only have like a little amount, nothing too crazy. So now what you're going to want to do is you have it in your bowl and it's nice and ready and shredded and you're going to add some water to it, okay? So this is going to saturate the paper so that it's prepared so we can put it in the blender. So mix up that paper so it's nice and saturated, okay? So the paper will start sticking to your fingers. It's going to get really saturated and wet, okay? Next, you're going to want to grab that blender, all right? And you're going to place that saturated paper inside the blender, okay? So you can even add that excess water that's inside your bowl so that it's nice and wet and ready to be blended. Now, you're going to want more water than what's inside here, okay? So, I'm going to grab that cup of water and add some more water in here, okay? So now, we have paper and water mixture, okay? So I'm going to put my cap on and we are going to blend up this paper. So now I've blended it up and as you can see the paper is like a wet pulp okay so it's now no longer really in the shape of that shredded paper although some of them didn't quite get blended out it's now this mushy pulp so what we're going to do is grab that bowl and place it in front in front of us and we're gonna pour the pulp out into the bowl okay and it's okay if there are shreds that didn't quite get um, blended because that's going to make it really unique. So, as you can see, I have my pulp and it's really wet. So we're going to grab that pulp, put it in our hands and make like a ball, alright? So I have the pulp in my hands and I'm going to squish the water out of it. So now I'm getting a shape, all right? And I can now hold up the paper. So squeeze out all of the water, all right? Best idea would be to put it in the palm of your hand, okay? And you're gonna squeeze out the water. 
into the bowl, all right? And you're gonna get a nice, flat piece of mushy paper, okay? Now, this looks really cool. What I'm going to do next is place this outside in the sun for a couple of hours, all right? And we're gonna see what this looks like after it's been dried out. All right, everybody, I took it out from being in the sun and it's all dried up. And as you can see, it's less of a dark gray and more of a light gray. So it's still a little bit wet after being in the sun for a couple of hours, but if I left this overnight, it'd be super dry. But it's pretty dry now and you can see that it's together, all these pieces stay stuck together and all we did was make a pulp out of paper and add water and then smush it together and it stays together. And what's really cool is if you take a black marker, you can now write on it and it works. And it's just like regular paper that you made at home. How cool is that? Well, I hope you enjoyed this and I will see all of you on Exercise Friday. Bye!